Hey everyone, Caleb with the Antique Book Collective, and today I'm getting to you guys with a promised video. This is going to be the walkthrough on how to set up uh, promotions on your eBay store. So again, guys, I know that this can be a little complicated. I'm going to try to walk you guys through a couple of different ways that you can do it. And I also am going to drop in the description below, I'm gonna drop a link to the actual thing that you can go and click on, which will make it a whole lot easier for you guys to set up your eBay sales. So again, I've said this before, I'm going to say it again. You will need to get an actual paid eBay store to run these particular promotions that are going to be the percent off sales or the dollar off sales or the free shipping sales, all those sorts of sales, you will have to get one of the paid eBay store memberships. They have a really cheap one that they offer that you guys can do. And honestly, guys, if you guys are doing to, uh, if you guys are going to run, sorry, doing to run, that's dumb. Uh, if you guys are going to run your eBay stores like mine, like with, with my particular eBay book business, where I do everything with the X amount uh, percent increase and an X amount dollar increase uh, profit sort of thing. If you guys run it like that, then honestly, guys, one sale should probably pay off your entire eBay store fee. And uh, if you guys run with a cheaper business model, you'll have to get a whole lot more sales to pay for. But at the end of the day, guys, the cheapest option is, again, really cheap. That's why I call it the cheapest option. That's probably why a lot of people refer to it as that. And uh, if you, there are some other things that you can get if you get the more expensive ones. For me, I'm not really interested in the stuff offered with those more expensive eBay store tiers. The bottom one is good enough for me, but you guys might be able to uh, get along with the higher uh, price ones if that is what you need. So with all that said and done, I'm just gonna dive right on into the video and walk you guys through how to do it, how to set up your sale and the different things that you can do. And I hope it helps. All right, so as you guys can see here, I'm on the eBay, uh, ebay.com forward slash help, forward slash a bunch of other things. And this is the customer service thing and they have some information on how to do your uh, different eBay sales promotions. And it's a whole lot of reading and I, if you guys are brand new to this, I would recommend that you guys at least gloss over this, uh, but that's not what I'm doing in this video. What I'm doing in this video is showing you guys one important thing. So as you guys can see here, I've got this little creating promotions area and this will be the thing that I link in the bottom is when you click the glow, go to marketing in Sellers Hub. So I'm just going to click that and I'm going to open that and uh, this will be what is going to be linked in the description below. So if you guys want, you guys can just click that in the description below. Again, trust me, it's going to be a lot easier, but if you guys don't wanna do that, you guys can go onto Google and if you, if you type in to Google, you type in, how do I run a sales promotion on eBay? This should pop up and it should be really simple to follow. So uh, when you get to that, it will look something sort of like this. You'll have your marketing. So you'll have different things for your marketing. You'll have a launch coupon, all that sort of stuff. You'll be able to see your history with it, all that sort of stuff. And what we want to do is go up to the marketing section and go over to promotions. That's what we want to do. I'm going to let it load on up. And then we are going to see uh, here. So if you guys have your promotion, if you have any uh, track sales through it, it will be uh, listed here. For some reason, it doesn't show it for me, uh, even though I know for a fact I've had some sales through it. But you never know with computers. They always let you down. So... Uh, with that said though guys if you scroll on down you can actually see all of your different sales that are below and that's how you can track all your different ones and what we want to do to create a sale though is just right here this big blue button it says create a promotion so you're going to click that and you're going to select the one that you guys are going to do so you can do volume volume pricing you can do shipping discount you can do sales event plus markdown you can do order discount those are more standard ones and something that is a little pro tip that I hear from a whole lot of people is running coupons. Coupons is something that you guys can send out to previous buyers and it's something that you guys can send out to other people as well. It's something that you can offer if you have your own website, all these sorts of things, you can offer coupons. Uh, something that I've heard from other sellers is don't just spam people with coupons. What you wanna do is maybe be like, send a thank you note, be like, thanks for this purchase and then say, if you guys wanna buy more, you can use this coupon and get a discount. That's that's what I hear a lot of people doing because of all the rules for spamming people's uh, emails, but that's just something that you guys can do. It's not something I do. It's not something I recommend because I don't do it. So with all that said though, guys, what this video is going to be about is running um, the sale event plus markdown because that's what I see more, most often. So I'm just going to click that. And as we, as we can see here, we are now on the eBay assistant. And 
So you can see right here, there are three different steps. You set the discount, you select the items, and then you review and launch. So really simple, really straightforward. And with that said, let's just walk through a little more. So as you guys can see here, you choose your discount. So you can select a different percentage rate. You can do, uh, it looks like as low as 5% or as high as 80%. Looks like you can't do 100%, which is good news for everyone. <laughs> you can't make a mistake that accidentally ruins your store. Uh, on to the next thing though, you can also do discount levels. I haven't done that. I don't know if I recommend doing that because again, I haven't done it. But uh, something else that you guys can do is offer a certain dollar amount off. But something I will note is it's an either or sort of thing. You can either take a certain percent off or you can take a certain dollar amount off. So that's something you guys wanna keep in mind. Another thing that you can offer is free shipping on your discounted items. And something I will point out is you can have the certain dollar amount off and free shipping, or you can have the certain percent off and free shipping, which is really nice because there are people who will not buy stuff that does not have the shipping covered because they got so spoiled with Amazon. So that's something you guys might want to keep in mind. So for me, I'm not going to do 80% discount because I don't really want to do that. I'm going to do, uh, actually 23 is a dumb number. I'm going to do 25% off and I'm going to not offer free shipping because that's not how I want to do my business. That's not what I want to encourage. And uh, all the pricing that I did for my business does have shipping in mind in that sort of thing of the buyer pays. If I have to pay it, I might end up not making money or not making as much money as I'd like on particular items. So with that said, 25% off, not free shipping. As you guys can see here, it's got some rules for that, but I'm not going to read that. So that's everything that I am doing for this particular sale. So 25% off sale, nice and simple, nice and standard. As you guys uh, probably saw and have heard, I'm running a 15% off sale right now, but that is something that you guys will be able to do if you want or do not want. So on to this next thing, you can select your items or you can create rules. For me, I like selecting the items. It allows me more control because I am a little bit of a control freak and I don't have a ton of items listed on my store. Currently, I think I have like 170, something like that. And uh, that is lower than my all time high of when I made really good money with my eBay store. Right now I'm getting geared back up to where I'm making better money. I think in the past month I've made two grand almost, getting close to that. But uh, that's just because of I've been having some really good sales going on and uh, it's been producing pretty well off of the sale discounts that I'm running and I'm getting more books listed. All these sort of things are stacking up so I'm making better money. So this past month, again, it got me probably around two grand worth of sales, which is cool. But again, don't have a lot of stuff so I'm doing selected items. So that is if you wanna do this. So clicking that, loads you on up. And as you guys can see here, it just like reminds you that it's 25% off. And then you have a really cool section right here that guys, it's like the nicest thing ever. I've been playing with it a lot and you guys can do your uh, eBay categories, your store categories or all inventory, really nice. You can put in the price. So let's say you wanna run a sale on your bottom tier things, which for me, let's say is between a dollar and $15. So let's just say that sort of thing. And you can filter it so only items with that particular rate shows up. Or if you wanna only discount your higher tier items, so let's say $50 to $150, you can do that as well. You can do basically whatever you wanna do. I'm not gonna do that for this particular sale because I don't wanna do that. But uh, another thing you can do is search by item. And this is something that can be helpful. So let's say you sell jeans on your eBay store. You can look up particular makeup jeans. So you can do like Levi's and you can have a Levi's 25% off sale or whatever you want to do on that. Another thing that is really nice is you can do how many days on site. So you can have, let's just say I don't like any of my inventory that's been sitting for a year. You could say 365 days, 365. And let's say your store has been running for a few years. So let's just say a thousand days. Anything between that will show up and you'll be able to run a discount on those things. However, I'm not going to be doing that because I want to just uh, discount everything on my store. So I'm just going to click this little item box right here, which will highlight literally every single book that I have listed. And uh, I only have 200 things showing up per page. And let's see how many things I have. I have 158. So 158 listings is what I have right now. So all 158 shows up on this. So that selected all of them. So I'm going to confirm my selections, 158. And on to the next smidge, which is review and launch. As we can see here, we can see my different items. Uh, I know what you guys are seeing right now are my lower priced items, but trust me, my average is about $70 per uh, item listed, which is uh, pretty good money for me to do. And 
So as we can see, I can look over all that. It looks pretty good to me. I can del uh, delete certain items. I can delete all the items. Depends on what I want to do. And again, I'm just confirming it is 25% off, which is neat. And with that said, I am pleased with that. So I am hitting that to go on to the next section, which is the third section, which is the last section. So you can do a event name. This does not show up to your people. As you guys can see here, it does not show up to buyers. So this is, you can name it whatever you want. You can name it, my butt is on sale. I don't know, something like that. Something really weird, something really random if you want. Uh, for me, I'm just gonna leave it as this because it's nice and simple. It has the year, it has the month, and it has the day. Nice and simple stuff. And then it has some random numbers that I have no idea what they mean over here. So onto that, uh, it just shows you a little bit more, more confirmation sort of stuff. You can have uh, these things, doesn't matter. But something that does matter is this section right here, the date range. So for me, if I did the sale, it would run for one month. However, I don't want to run this for one whole month. I want to run this for, let's just say starting April and going till April, I'm gonna say April 10th. So I'm gonna do that. Something else that you can do is look at the uh, time that it starts. If you are nitpicky, you can do it by the time. But something that I do wanna point out is a little alert that it says here is it might take up to 12 hours for your event to actually start. So you can say it starts now, but it won't actually start now. eBay does need a certain amount of time uh, for it to actually get geared up and get going. So that is something you guys wanna do. So on to the next little section. Uh, as you guys can see here, this is where it says your stuff. I've got some of my ugly, very cheap books right here, which is not dandy, but whatever. And uh, you can do your event description. This is what actually shows up to your buyers. So if you are on the eBay store, this will actually be something that you can read. It'll say like 25% off and then it'll say something. So for me in my last sale that I did, I said moving sale. So for this one, I am going to type in moving sale once more. Moving sale, everything must go. And hopefully by saying everything must go, maybe that'll get me a few more buyers who will give me offers. And for me, I am accepting basically every single offer I'm getting that comes in right now because I really want to get my stuff moving. I want to get it out so I can get out myself and get moving because uh, as I said in the previous video, I am actually working on moving right now. So as you guys can see, this is a nice short message. I don't recommend doing 50 uh, characters, which is what you're allowed. 50 characters is a lot of reading. I mean, it might be something that works for you guys, but uh, by and large, people on the internet don't want to read a chapter book. If they wanted to read a chapter book, they would be reading a book right now. They wouldn't be buying a book. So that is something that you guys can do and might want to pay attention to. So uh, just keep it short, keep it snappy. That sort of stuff is what I find normally works, and that's what a lot of online marketers find works. So you might even want to have all caps here or there, something sort of like that, but don't be so spammy and scammy because that's just annoying. So for me that everything must go is something that is a little risky for me to do because I am sure I'm going to get some best offers that are gonna be some low ball best offers. But again, I am accepting a lot of these best offers just because I want the books to go. I actually just listed a book yesterday that sold like an hour after I listed it. And the person offered me like a little over half for what I had the book listed for. So I wanna say I listed it for like $56 and they offered 29. I went for it, I didn't even question it because because I wanted the sale and I paid a dollar for the book so I was happy. So. With all that said though, guys, there is a bunch of different ways that you guys can do this. It's really simple and it's really fast and it's really easy to get you guys some more sales. And at the end of the day, what we want is more sales. Yeah, you're not going to make as much money like per item if you're running a sale, but you might make more money in the long run because you're getting a higher volume of sales. So that's just something that you guys can play around with. I highly recommend everyone tries running sales at some point in their business, just because it is a good learning experience. And if you aren't learning, you're going to fail in the end of the day. So it's really nice to learn. It's really nice to figure out new things. And with all that said and done, I am checking my date range. It's a 10 day sale, so I'm running that and I'm going to hit launch. And once you guys do this and get this set up how you want it, you can launch it as well. You guys can do 25% off. I have run for, uh, I've run sales for 5% up to 30%. I haven't done anything higher than that just yet because I've only been running this for a uh, few months with the actual eBay paid store, but it is something that you guys can do. So with that said, I'm just gonna hit launch. It's going to do that. And with that said and done, my promotion is out there and hopefully at some point I'm actually going to have this area here populate with the actual information on my business uh, sales because that would be nice to know but I never have good luck with things actually showing that anyway so 
With all that said and done, guys, thank you for watching. If you want to learn more and see more of these video walkthroughs of these eBay things, I do do a lot of those on this channel, so be sure to subscribe below. Uh, I know I'm still small, but also be sure to subscribe and be sure to check out another video, and I will see you guys in the next one.